Welcome to the Emory Riddle Aeronautical University Worldwide Course Tour of Management 421 Small Business Management. This course was designed and developed as a fully online course by the course monitor, Dr. Merrill Douglas, and lead instructional designer, Shannon Field. We'll begin our course tour by looking at the course design. As a best practice, goals, outcomes, and objectives are a prominent focus of Management 421. They're listed on the syllabus, explained in the course orientation, and tracked throughout the course by Blackboard Outcomes, a service of Blackboard that provides course-embedded analytics. Each activity is mapped to the appropriate learning outcome. The goals and objectives are clearly written, measurable, and reflect the higher cognitive skills and abilities students are expected to master. A module splash page gives an overview of all activities. Course content is chunked into learning modules, each representing one week of instruction and approximately 10 to 12 hours of student work. Content is enhanced with graphics and video case studies are utilized to provide real-world application of the concepts studied in each module. Interaction and collaboration in the course is facilitated through the use of discussions, wikis, and blogs. Student and instructor communication is facilitated through an online office forum, an instructor's corner forum, a weekly summary provided in the resources section, and through email. Student-to-student -student communication is facilitated informally through an online student lounge and formally through the discussion board, wikis, and blogs. Individual student blogs afford students an opportunity to reflect critically on what they're learning in the course and to comment on their classmates' reflections. Course wikis provide a collaborative space for students to develop a small business resource website and to analyze existing small business websites. Discussions encourage critical thinking and debate. Rubrics are included to explain how participation will be evaluated. The instructor actively participates in communication activities and provides feedback to students. The instructor uses communication tools to provide course updates, reminders, special announcements, and so forth. The instructor tells students in his weekly discussion summaries, I encourage useful disagreement in the discussions, and I ask only two things. Number one, that you show respect for each other, and two, that you base your arguments on something more substantial than just your opinion. And remember, you do not have to agree with me in order to get a good grade. However, I do look for a sound, logical explanation of your argument. In this course, every gradable activity or assessment is aligned to a module objective, which in turn is aligned to a course learning outcome that satisfies a program outcome. This alignment is listed in the course syllabus, explained in the course orientation, and visually mapped within the course modules. The entire mapping alignment process is tracked formally through Blackboard outcomes. Assessments in this course, down to individual quiz and test questions, will be evaluated through the data collected by Blackboard outcomes and the Grade Center analytics to ensure that the assessments are accurately measuring the learning outcomes and supporting the program outcomes. Rubrics are provided for every assessment, explained in the course orientation and linked throughout the course. Instructors align all grading elements to the grading rubrics. The rubrics clearly define the grading criteria that will be used to grade the assessments. The rubrics that measure student performance were created at the program level and are uniformly used throughout the management program. Measurable, higher order outcomes and objectives are measured through these rubrics. Assessments are linked to authentic small business management skills and abilities, promoting the transfer of skills outside the classroom. Low and high risk assessments occur each week and provide multiple methods for students to develop and check their skills through quizzes, discussions, case studies, blogs, wikis, a comprehensive exam, and a research paper. Learner support begins with the Start Here page of the course, which clearly provides labeled, step-by-step -step listings of support materials, including an orientation on online learning and a course navigation guide. The Start Here link is always available and is visible from anywhere in the course. Other resources include a library video tutorial and a plagiarism tutorial. Tutorials incorporate audio, visual, and text-based learning modalities. The Start Here page includes links to institutional policies, materials and forms, an explanation of the end-of-course evaluation, disability support services, and a tutorial video on the university's undergraduate research initiative, IGNITE. The Hunt Library is linked directly on the course menu and is also linked within the Start Here page, 
From anywhere within Blackboard, students have a link to the Help section, which includes a comprehensive list of technical resources. Clear explanations of optional or required software are included in the syllabus, on the Start Here page, in the course orientation, and in specific module activities. These include requirements for reading PDF documents, watching flash videos, accessing the case study videos through Cengage, and so forth. The course orientation explains how to obtain access to the Cengage Brain website as well as links to all required resources. Instructor contact information and a bio is provided in the Read About Your Instructor section on the Start Here page. The online office form in the discussion board lists phone, email, and office hours. The instructor's methods of collecting and returning work are clearly explained within the course modules as well as in the course policies that are listed in the resources section. The course materials use standard formats to ensure accessibility. Case study videos are delivered in streaming format and are also downloadable for students with limited online access. Transcripts to the videos are available in the resource section. File formats and sizes are indicated within the course and all files are optimized for file format. This course accommodates and supports learners with disabilities. Course design is focused on simple, logical navigation and coding that is easily accessed through assistive processes. Color, size, audio-video controls, and alt tags reflect universal accessibility considerations. Information and links to Emory Riddle's disability support services are included in the syllabus and on the Start Here page within the course. Learners have opportunities to provide feedback to the instructor and to the institution through end-of-course evaluations provided in the next to the last module, and the final discussion forum, which asks students to comment on what they liked most about the course and what they'd like to see changed about the course. The end-of-course evaluation is an anonymous evaluation of the course and of the instructor, and is not viewable by the instructor until after grades have been posted. This completes our course tour. It's an honor to participate in the Blackboard Catalyst Award Program and to receive an exemplary course rating. On behalf of Emory Riddle Aeronautical University Worldwide, thank you for accompanying us on our tour of Management 421, Small Business Management.